the starters for Milwaukee. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Connaughton and Middleton share the wing duty. And it's Lillard in at the one. And for Toronto, Bruce Brown is out there with Gary Trent. Then it's Barnes. Then there's Carter. And it's Barrett at the small forward position. Injuries certainly playing a factor for both teams, Greg, in this matchup. And Kevin, it's an unfortunate part of the game, but unavoidable. Every team deals with the injuries throughout the course of the season, so there's no time now for excuses. And so off the tip, it's Toronto. A key matchup tonight is the one between MP and Giannis Antetokounmpo. MP has some momentum going here, having won the first time these two teams met. Few opponents are as scary as Antetokounmpo. He can drive right through you. He can jump over top of you. And that's not even mentioning all the havoc he causes as a defender. And there could be something of a feeling out process here. Or maybe these teams feel confident in their preparation and are ready to just go at it. Trent outside. Carter with a three. And again, Toronto with the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Oh, G.A., the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. Outside, Carter. It's Trent on the wing. No good from outside. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Giannis is double. Lopez left side. Over Brown. And another basket for Milwaukee. And amidst the tall timber, he's right at home. Extremely comfortable. Lopez getting it done. Carter inside the three-point line. That one rolling around and rims out. The Bucs have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Barrett. Toronto's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. And Carter with the basket on the assist by Barrett. Carter's got eight points. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Onto Takumbo looking it over. In the corner, Middleton with it. Fires from deep. Good on the three-point shot. Only one miss in the first five attempts. Clearly feeling. Here's Barnes. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. And the rejection by Giannis. Middleton the pass to Lopez. That one's off. He's now one for two. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Raptors. They trail by one. Brown finds Carter. The three in the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Antetokounmpo. Turned in an outstanding game against Chicago. Love the read there from Antetokounmpo. I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to alley-oop attempts. And when you talk about Giannis's defense, he really has some unique attributes. Boy, does he ever, Greg. I mean, you think about his length, his athleticism, his agility. He's a guy who can defend the ball and the screener almost at the same time because of that great length. So offenses sometimes go away from him in the pick and roll, which allows him to kind of play free safety on that back line as a rim protector. Now here's Barnes following the miss by Brooke Lopez. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. The Raptors have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. And it's Carter missing. The Bucs have gone six of nine, shooting it well. Beasley left side. 
Here's Middleton. And Pirtle pulls it down. Toronto's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Here's Carter. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. Now Lillard, scoreless thus far. Kicks it out to Beasley. And another three for Milwaukee. You know, with his ability to space the floor, Beasley adds a strong dimension to his team's offense. Looking at Milwaukee, they took the win in their last game against Chicago. And boy, did they impress everyone with that comeback they had in the fourth. Just stunned that crowd. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. We've got 22 seconds left in the first. Here's Lillard. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Chicago. And what opened things up for him was his passing. He was making so many plays that the D had to play off. The shot's good from Carter. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Let's keep it up. Raptors lead by four. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Raptors. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And I've really liked how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. Knock and Pirtle out there with Carter. Then there's Dick. Then there's Scotty Barnes. And it's Nora in at the three slot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Giannis Adentacupo remains so consistent. He said, I want to get to the position that my game is boring. People don't talk about it because I do it every single night, but I don't get bored. The greats, the best players, never get bored. They always give their best every given night, and that's my mindset. Kevin? Oh, D.A., I love it. Thank you so much for the report. Beasley with a clean look, and the Bucs miss again. Raptors leading by eight. Looking at the Bucs, G.A., they've made the playoffs every year since 2017. And, Kevin, as long as Giannis is at the helm, that streak should continue for a while. He's arguably the best player in the world. Guys want to play with this kid. Middleton, the pass to going up. The boat Just five to shoot. Jackson kicks to Beasley. Offline with his three. And it's Barnes with the ball for the Toronto Raptors. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Got that one up quick. Carter's got the lead up to 12 now for Toronto. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Here's Colinari. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. Colinari's got his first bucket of the night. 
There's Gallinari working hard, being productive for his team. His effort always impressive. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Lillard way outside. Offensive rebound. Shot clock at six. Middleton the pass to Golinari. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Here's Carter, and the rejection by Adetokounmpo. The reach, the athleticism, the timing, no surprise, Giannis swatted that one away. Just like last game, MP's got the edge in this individual battle, and playing with a lot of confidence. Here's Carter, releases from the wing and drills it. Carter's got 10 points in the quarter. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum and they double up on it to Connington kicks to Giannis the pass to Middleton and to the Kumbo inside defended by Carter not sure what what the D was doing there clearly a breakdown you can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look and Barrett gets it to go I love seeing Barrett cash in there. He knows he has what it takes to finish through contact. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Now, here's Ante Kumbo. You talk about a player who can absolutely light it up. He averages over 31 points a game. And so that's the end of the first half. It's the Raptors. They lead by 13. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. Hello, everybody. Let's start out with a look, looking at the Eastern Conference. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis, I mean, certainly deserves all the accolades. When you look at everything he's about. And back to the matchup at hand. Everything has been going smoothly for the Toronto Raptors. This. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Really an incredible game from primetime. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jack Rivers. Middleton and Giannis slot in at the small and power forward. Pat Connaughton is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Lopez in at center. Here's Carter. Oh, he jams it right over Giannis onto the Kumbo. Wow. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. So, Clark, here we are adding tournaments in the Summer League, the in-season, the play-in tournament. The league is creating more elimination-type games in the schedule. Yeah, you know, I think it's been good. Well-received. It's enhanced the games. I think the fans enjoy it. I think the players actually enjoy it, particularly the young players, because they've seen it in other sports leagues. So competing under higher pressure for greater stakes, 
more often, I think overall is a good thing. And it's Carter missing. Bucks trail by 15. Middleton dishes to Giannis. basketball from Giannis Antetokounmpo. No matter how aggressive the defense is, it is tough to stop the Greek freak. Brown outside. Here's Carter. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. The Raptors shooting their first free throw of the night. That's good from Carter. And Greg with the court changes in Milwaukee where are they looking for improvement oh Kevin they, they've been dominant in the regular season but the playoffs require adjustments and that chess match is where they hope to improve with the threat of his drive where he's lethal the defense has to live with Giannis shooting the mid-range jump shot baseline Jay on the way and the rebound goes to Lopez and it's Lillard with the ball he brings it up for the Bucks. It's a 14-point game. It's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Hornets. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. And the Raptors miss again. The Bucs have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Connaughton passes to Anadokounmpo. And they double up Giannis. And Connaughton has it in the corner. Anadokounmpo kicks to Connaughton. They get it back. Middleton on the wing. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Middleton's got six. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his near decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. And of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for Pat Connington. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. Taking a look at Milwaukee, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And I feel like Toronto, they just kind of burst out of the gate here with some fire, feeling disrespected by pundits who overlooked them as a top team. Lillard finds Giannis. 122 left to play in the third. The kick out to Lopez. Pass to Beast. Jacks up a three. Toronto grabs the miss. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Trills the three-pointer. 42 points for prime time. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this lead. Carter against Antetokounmpo. Lopez, a screen on Carter. Here's Antetokounmpo. And just miss after miss right now. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. But let's see if he can eventually get back on track. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, 
Heck, they've been clearly the better team. Giannis passes to Lillard. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Lillard's got six points. Giannis' teammates know he's selfless. He's going to get the ball to the open guy, and it's on you to find your shot. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Carter inside the three-point line. Lopez grabs the board. Lopez has got his fourth rebound in this one. Middleton dishes to Lillard. To the paint, looking to end his cold spell. And Giannis throws it down. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. Carter with the bucket. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. And so it's the Toronto Raptors taking a 19-point lead into the break. And thanks to their outstanding defense, the impact Damian Lillard has had on this game has been minimal. And we'll be back with you shortly. Let's hear what Doc Rivers has going on over in his huddle. Hey, guys, we need a run right here. Come on now. You're right there. You're right there. All right, let's go. And sensing the need to string together more baskets, Doc Rivers giving his team a little pep talk. Yeah, he, he's going after the momentum. I mean, Doc sees an opportunity here for them to put their stamp on this game. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. They've got Dick. Knock it brutal out there with Carter. Then it's Barnes, and it's Nora in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And the Bucks with possession here. Passes to Crowder. You've got to be wary of Pirtle when you're a shooter. If he's in the neighborhood, he could get to it. So I love the fact that he's all out on defense. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And one outstanding things the Raptors do, Greg. They really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. I see him. I see him. Lillard against Barnes. For three, Beasley. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. Harder on the wing, defended by Crowder. And then Carter with the dunk. And, you know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Now, here's Connaughton. Tight defense on him to the wing right side. Lillard with no one around. Off target from outside. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. And he comes up with the deuce. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. To the inside. Here's Crowder. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got six rebounds here tonight. Barnes outside. Barnes gets a screen from Carter. Shoots from 12. And again, it's Toronto converting. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. you got to be tougher defensively. Here's Golinari. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Jakob Pertl. Consistent at looking to score. Golinari knows how to put pressure on defenders and earn that call. First one falls for him. 
And these days, you know, Clark, the trade for a star player takes a stockpile of draft picks, doesn't it? Well, that seems to be the one way you can assure yourself of getting a proven star somewhere in the area of his prime. You know, and it doesn't always work out for both parties. Teams typically, in that case, would have to mortgage a bit of their future to get a player of that caliber. So it is uh, tilted towards more risk than reward in most of those scenarios. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Pass to Connaughton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Absolute heartbreak, Clark, for the Bucks last year in the postseason. You're right, Kevin. It was a shocker to see the Bucks go down in the first round as the one seed. And Miami really handled them, too. Knocked them out of there in five games. The Heat played with a lot of energy, got contributions from a lot of different players, and key defensive stops with a balanced attack did Milwaukee. In. The Raptors making a switch here. Abaji's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Brooke Lowe. Lopez is checked in for Gallinari. Raptors leading by 23. Carter outside. Over Giannis. And it's Carter missing. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Bucks. Lillard with a screen for Andre Kumbo. He's off on that one. That's one he knows he should have drained. Carter with it. Now guarded by Middleton. Pulls it from 20. The rebound by the Bucks. Giannis outside. And there's a minute 45 left in the game. Here's Lopez, and it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. Giannis has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The pass to Pirtle. Outside, Carter. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. Bucks trail by 21. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for the Raptors. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And with the victory tonight, they'll take the second game just as they took the first one between these two teams, moving their record to 2-0 and with one left against the Bucs. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for primetime. An unbelievable scoring performance. He absolutely took over and never let up. Lillard outside. A three-pointer is right on target. Look, <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but... Do it when it matters. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Dick passes to Carter. Beyond the arc. And again! Make that 61 points. Yep, everything is going his way right now. And Lillard kicks to Giannis. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Well, for the Raptors, they can just run out the clock. Carter, the pass to Dick. There's the triple. 
And got it! Another basket! And this game has... His name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know they're... Great win. Keep pushing. The last one was won for Sixty points? Are you kidding me? You're making my job easy, MP. Keep it up. This is the second strong game you've had in a row against Giannis. Can you speak on your technique to start this streak of making Giannis weak? <laughs> What's with the rhymes? I'm just having a little fun. Oh, okay, I guess you could call it that. Uh, anyway, um, there's no one who can make the Giannis weak. He's shown it at the highest level. Uh, game three of the finals in 2021. I remember watching that game. I used to imagine how I could guard somebody or how I would attack them in a given situation. But uh, that night, I just got out of the way. He was on one. If we saw that Giannis tonight, we're probably not walking out of here with the win.
Celtics is always big. Let's get that done. Good, MP. Time to do what you do, baby. Up next, the Raptors taking on the Celtics for Toronto. They're playing with terrific focus to start the year. Their hard work from the summer is paying off. Celtics, Raptors, it's next, right after this. Hi everyone, the NBA season still young, but we have excitement in the air for this year's in-season tournament. This is Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Allie LaForce will be our reporter from the sideline. 
Grant, during your 18-year career, you only went to a new team three times. Not a lot of movement there for you, my friend. What was switching teams like? Well, B.A., at this point of the season, it's just, it's too early. I mean, you're still trying to get comfortable, trying to learn a new system, your new environment, and really just find your place within the organization. And the starting group for the Celtics. White and Brown are the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point. Now here's Trent. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. And yep, it's good. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Holiday against Brown. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. And put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. Outside Carter from downtown. Holiday grabs the miss. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for the Boston Celtics. Coming off that win against the Sixers. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Even with all that noise, when they had the ball, it never rattled them. Their offense was in tune like it was a home game. For Boston, they've gone one for three so far. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment, he's become such an effective defender, Grant. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. Shoot from the baseline. And Carter gets it to go on the assist by Barnes. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Brown against Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Four on the clock. Solid as a rock from 20 feet out. One of the top scorers in the game today. Tatum can get it done all over the court. To the paint. Here's Carter. The rebound, Celtics. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Here's Tatum in the game against Philadelphia. Very impressive. Porzingis for three. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Trent, the pass to Carter from deep. The rebound by Jason Tatum. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Porzingis sets a screen. A step back shot. Tatum can't hit. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Holiday passes to Tatum. Back to Holiday. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Yeah, in the paint, Holiday's agility makes him tough to contain. He just needs a little space to go to work. And Barrett has got the ball here for Toronto. It's a three-point game. And talk about consistency, RJ. Boston has made the Eastern Conference Finals five out of the last seven years. Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal, especially since some of their best players are still developing. I know a guy that thinks that they haven't been very good for a very long time. But I know what Celtics fans want. They want a ring. But they should still feel very proud of what this young team has accomplished. An accurate shooter from distance. Tatum's teammates want him to keep looking to pull the trigger. And Toronto calls time here. And the Raptors with some changes. Pirtles checked in for Barnes. Nora comes in for Trent. And it's Dick in for Brown. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Cornette's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Al Horford comes in for Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. Pass to Nora. Now Carter. The three. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. 
There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter here. Here's Pritchard. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Carter, again, the Raptors, good for two more. Okay, let's throw out the analytics for a moment. When he's taking the mid-range, it's a winning shot. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Pritchard. Nine points for him in his last game. Pass to Horford. Hurdle with the block. Something Jakob does so well. He's terrific at positioning himself to come up with these blocks. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Celtics up one. And the second quarter is on its way when we Let's return. Keep it up. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. On the floor for Boston. Tatum and Horford, the duo at forward. Then there's Luke Cornett. Then there's Peyton Pritchard. And it's Hauser in at the two. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. The Celtics are battle-tested and asked what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, poise. Being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. PA? Yeah, yeah, that's been the key. Thanks, Allie. Here's Pritchard giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Pass to Tatum. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got four rebounds now. Dick, the pass to Pirtle. That one falls. Nice bucket. Jakob with good size, and he knows how to use it. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Out of bounds. It'll be Toronto's ball. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Toronto Raptors. On Sunday, it'll be the Detroit Pistons coming to town. And then on Tuesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Orlando, going up against the Magic. And for that game against Indiana, it's never easy taking the back end of a back-to-back. -back, but they've been playing some great basketball of late. And when you're winning, back-to-backs feel a lot easier to handle. Gary Trent Jr., he's checked in for Toronto. Brown comes in for Nora. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. Carter from outside. Rebounded by the Celtics. At the conclusion of this one, they're off to Memphis where they'll face the Grizzlies. They're getting into the back half of a four-game road trip. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I don't think his coaches will agree. Yeah, and you're not going to just have the green light for long if you're chucking up bombs like that. No, he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Now a timeout called by Boston. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And finished off by Tatum. <laughs> Just a merciless, I don't even know what that word means, dunk by Tatum. Reminding the defense, like, yo, you cannot stop him. No good with a jumper from the wing. And it's Holiday with a ball for Boston. They trail by six. And granted, a deal that came down to the wire this summer, the Celtics got their man. 
Kristaps Porzingis. Oh, yes, they did, B.A. As tough as it was to give up Marcus Smart for Boston, a chance to balance their roster and acquire a two-way tower in his prime. Now here's Carter. Playing Milwaukee, he was nearly unstoppable. Misses the jumper from the wing. The Celtics have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Holiday passes to Tatum. Off the mark there with a three. The Raptors have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Carter from outside. Nails it from beyond the arc. Carter's got ten points now, just in this quarter. He got a three to fall in the first, and now his second in this quarter. Not a trend the defense wants to see. Porzingis with a screen on Barnes. Hurdle against Porzingis. Pass to Holiday. Now here's Tatum. Shot clock at six. 19 footer. And the jumper is on the mark. Tatum's got nine points. And it's clear that Tatum loves the mid range, excels at recognizing when to shoot from there. Barrett's checked in for Pirtle. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You take a look at Toronto, and they've got the top spot in the conference, a testament to their hard work all year long. And of course, Boston, two spots below. Well, right now for Boston, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. And you want to talk about hitting the ground running? They've done exactly this. And you've got to give a lot of credit to their coaching staff for getting this team locked in early. Now here's Brown. A 29-point game for him in the win against Philadelphia. Horford can't hit. The Raptors have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Pass to Carter. There's 31 seconds left in the half. Using his post moves to get the two points. He's looked practically unstoppable this quarter. The defense, yeah, well, they haven't had many answers for him. Porzingis with a screen on Trent. Porzingis misses. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. <laughs> Woo! His energy is unmatched. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. Now here's Brown. Pass to Porzingis. Good. And Brown gets the assist. He's got seven. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. And so it's Toronto with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. Welcome. I love what I'm seeing from Holmgren. He has uh, sort of an effortless way of taking over. The game just comes naturally to him. Yeah, he stood out, man. I'm telling you. And now looking at where things stand at the half, there's some work to be done for the Celtics. What's that old joke? Thanks for tuning in. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Toronto's gone three of six from deep so far. Gary Trent is out there with Bruce Brown. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then there's Scotty Barnes. And it's Carter in at the five down low. That's the group starting the second half for Darko Rayakovich. Well, Grant, when it comes to the Raptors rebounding, it's a tale of two stories. Yeah, B.A., and over the last couple of years, they've been terrific on the offensive boards and absolutely terrible on the defensive boards. It's something they're working to fix this season. Just five on the clock for three. Porzingis, the shot misses. Carter on the wing. Let's it fly. And another basket for Toronto. 
He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Brown against Barrett. Porzingis passes to Brown. Back to Porzingis. Up and over Carter. Porzingis misses. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Shot from the wing. And Carter gets it to go. On the assist from Trent. Carter's got 33 points. A clean start to the half for them. Knocking down their first three shots. Porzingis with a screen on Barnes. Tatum from long range. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Stumbling to start the second half. Three straight misses. But when you've made your first three shots of the half, I think it's okay for a heat check. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. White, the pass to Porzingis. Doesn't go for him. Is it possible to rest too much? Because he hasn't been able to get into a groove since coming back in. Here's Carter. Tatum pulls it in. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Celtics. Still looking for their first bucket of the second half. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, R.J. Barrett, the third overall pick in the 2019 draft, still a long way away from his prime. He said, quote, people think you should make this huge leap out of nowhere. And it's like if you just add one or two things to your game and just get better every year steadily, you are going to get where you want to go, whether it comes right away or it comes later. Brian? Allie, thanks. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Boston's been a franchise that has sustained winning, Richard. Yeah, B.A., look, they've had down years like anyone. But they don't have down decades. And the Celtics, they replenish as fast as any team outside of maybe their rival Lakers. The Celtics making a switch here. Orford's checked in. And here are the Raptors now. Following the bucket by the Celtics. Trent outside. Pass to Carter. Let's the three fly. Rebounded by the Celtics. Horford's got four rebounds in the game. He hasn't found the range lately. It's wild to think he had three triples there in the first half. Good on the shot. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. The Raptors have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Outside Carter. Pulls up on the wing. And that's good for two. Carter's got 35 in the game. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Brown against Holiday. Out to the right wing. Horford passes to Tatum. And Tatum drills the three. Well, Tatum is the obvious option for the catch and shoot. He's such an efficient scorer. Toronto calls timeout. The Raptors making a switch here. Pirtle's checked in. Cornette's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Jason Tatum. And it's slammed in by Carter. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Tries to spin move. Pass to Pritchard. And here's Holiday. An important role in this offense. Averaging around 12 and a half per game. Six to shoot. Pritchard, the pass to Holiday. Shoots over Brown. The shot by Holiday, no good. I don't know if he got in his own head there or what, because the defense can't really take credit for that miss. Here's Carter. Boston with a rebound. Brown inside, guarded by Barrett. Good stuff from Brown, providing the assist. He's made giant strides in his passing game. There's 45 seconds left in the third. Trent on the wing. He's covered by Holiday. Carter from outside. Counted from distance. Carter's got 13 points now in the quarter. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Here's Pritchard. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Rebounded by Trent. 
Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Here's Carter. Holiday grabs the miss. Puts up a deep three. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Toronto Raptors going Let's into the break up. up 12. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> Just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. We talk a lot about playing for one another. Right there with the pass, he's demonstrated what it means to do exactly this. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter... Scanning the floor. Porzingis with a screen on Barrett. Pass to Porzingis from the arc. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got his fifth rebound in this one. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for Boston. 11-point game. Brown against Barrett. His first shot attempt. That's good on the jumper. The mid-range is not an issue for Brown, and it's just another weapon in his arsenal now. Outside Carter. Over Porzingis. Carter, good. Carter's got 42 in the game. Operation feed the horse. Feed him early and often. And guess what? It's working. They have the leads. Porzingis with a screen on Barrett. Brown passes to Porzingis. Over Trent. And Porzingis gets it to go on the assist from Brown. Brown's got his third assist of the night. Here's Carter. And it's Toronto with another. Quite simply, he is carrying this team, doing most of the work scoring-wise. Inside. Porzingis putting the size to work. Now, we know he can hit threes, but Chris Stapp's showing he can slam it, too. The Raptors with a lead. To the middle. Here's Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his bounce. Outside, Brown. For three, Porzingis. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got five assists in the game. So smooth off the catch. Porzingis is excellent at judging when to take quick shots. Barrett against Brown. Fifty-eight seconds left in the final quarter. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Carter from outside. The Raptors, another three. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're behind by nine. 51 seconds left to play in the fourth.
Holiday finds White. Tatum from long range. That shot makes him 7 for 14. He's been good tonight. And if anybody didn't know, Jason Tatum has that killer instinct just coming out in a big way. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth. Wing shot on the way. Carter can't get it to go. And here's Boston. They trail by six. Oh, Carter with the block. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy, oh Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all oh, And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe What you gonna be? And do you believe we can do anything? 